Well, I avoided grass last time. Guess I'm gonna touch water in every Mario game now. That sounds fantastic. Five hour of gaming later. All right, the script is done. I'm gonna see if George wants to cameo in the video. I'll, let me see what he's up to on Twitter. Well, in that case, I hate water. Water's the worst. No one likes this. In Super Mario Bros, you can't beat this game without touching water. You can get all the way to 8-4, only to go down a pipe and then get absolutely bamboozled. Shit. For the lost levels, I'm gonna have to pull out the stunts to avoid water. Remember that dumbass strategy from last time where in 1-2 I have to go in a very specific pipe? Well, I gotta do that again, but then play all the way to World 5-2. In this level, I have to hit this block to open up a vine, and that takes us to World 8. And let's keep in mind how annoying this game is to play. It takes a lot of effort to get to 8-4, but I finally did it. I'm almost at the end. I just gotta... Oh. Okay. The Imposter Mario Bros. 2 also has water, but luckily it's only in the form of waterfalls. As long as I jump around them, I can avoid it entirely. For the first level, I have to avoid the cave section because there's a waterfall that covers most of the screen. In 1-3, I have to take this potion all the way to the end here to be able to access the warp to World 4. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh, hello? That's ice you're touching, ice is water! Well, guess what, pal? Ice and water have different names for a reason, so therefore, I'm allowed to touch ice and snow. Take that. In 4-2, though, there's another warp we can take to go to World 6, and lucky for us, there is no more water for the rest of the game and we can feed wart as many veggies as we want. The warp whistles in Mario Bros. 3 are going to be pretty useful for avoiding water. We have to get the first one by kneeling on this white block for 8 years, then the other one by flying up this random wall, and with the whistles we can warp to World 8 and there's no water for the rest of the game. Super Mario Land is in black and white still, just like last time, and once you get to 2-3, we're forced into a submarine and we're touching the water. Well, the submarine is technically touching the water, but you know what? I still failed at life. Ah! Look at that puddle of water in the overworld. Guess I'll just go to the right. It's not like there could be another puddle. For Super Mario Land 2, we have no choice but to play all the levels to get to the end, which includes Turtle Zone, so might as well get eaten alive and just accept our fate. Super Mario 64 is by far the easiest game to avoid water in. As we all know, I'm really good at splicing someone else's footage and proving how amazing I am at performing the lobby BLJ to get the first key. And then there's the stairs BLJ for the second key, and we're basically done. All without any water. Can someone give me a clap for my efforts? Thanks, Jorts. Super Mario Sunshine. Yep, that's a lot of water right there. And the flood pack, yep, that shoots water. And when I shoot water out of the flood pack, look at those little bits of water hitting me. Damn it. Back to the 2D games. New Super Mario Bros. definitely has water, but I can take a warp cannon from one tower to get to World 5, and then another cannon from 5 Ghost House to World 8. And this is a lava world, so we should be good to finish the game. Cool. Okay, so this is actually an interesting one. Super Mario Galaxy has a lot of water, but in most cases, we can avoid it. I had to scrub through a lot of my old footage, but it turns out you can actually beat the entire game without touching water. If you don't believe me, well, do it yourself, you coward. Go on, I'm waiting. With new soup on the Wii, you can just take a warp cannon to World 1, World 5, and this alternate exit in 8-2 in order to avoid all the water. Mario Galaxy 2 is a more linear game, and I hate it for that reason, because Fluffy Bluff Galaxy has a part where you have no choice but to take a bath in this water. But hey, there's always Super Mario 3D Land, which is basically God's greatest gift. Let's go! Oh. Now, I know you're all dying to know, but yes, New Super Mario Bros. 2 does indeed have warp cannons. Yep, you're welcome for that amazing revelation, but none of them will be helpful for us, so we just have to pray that we can get to the end safely and stinky. Really? You couldn't have jumped over that? The puddle's straight up like four inches long, what the heck? New Super Mario Bros. U was a pain to figure out because there's a lot of water and a lot of secret exits, but you can actually get through the entire game. It just takes a while. I think I should get another clap for all that work. Thanks, Nico BBQ. 
And then we've got Mario 3D World, another game with two super lame warp exits, and we end up stuck in front of 3-5. We all know Mario Odyssey has water in the Cascade Kingdom, but did you know that while jumping near the water, there's little driplets of water coming from the ground? What a neat detail, Nintendo! I hate you! And then there's Bowser's Fury. Wow! That's every mainline Mario game, but I don't think you're convinced that I really hate water. So I'm gonna keep going for the sake of more what? You guys remember Super Mario Maker? Of course you do! You're watching a guy avoiding water in Mario games and you're five minutes into it fully committed. What's wrong with you? This game's pretty easy though. Just build a level without water. I know, crazy idea. And we can do the same thing for Super Mario Maker 2 and the 3DS version! Wait a minute, why am I playing the 3DS version? Ah, good old Super Mario Run. I'm glad I picked this game as well, because it turns out there are no water levels in this one. yippee ki -yay! But now to Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. It's the same game as the original, except now I can watch my failure with 5x zoom on. But of course, there's Super Mario 64 DS, and the results you'd expect are actually quite different. There is no BLJs in this remake, which means that we have no way of getting the second Bowser key because we'd need to enter Dire Dire Docks to do that, which, as you know, is a massive sauna of water. Last time we tried avoiding grass in Mario All-Stars, and you might think that we're gonna do that again, but with the 25th anniversary version on the Wii, but that's actually not the case. No, I'm diving into Super Mario Advance. Ha! Bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? Like with the original, you can beat this game as well using the exact same strategies, but Mario talks to you the whole time for fun. Super Mario Advance 2, nothing has changed from before. I run into the water puddle and I touch the water. Mario Advance 3! Okay, this is actually different because it's not really a Mario game, but it kind of says it is. Anyway, there's no warps in Yoshi's Island, so I can only go until I run into a water level, which doesn't last long. At 1-8, there's a fish that spits water at us. Ah, finally, Super Mario Advance 4. We use the same strategies as the original game. Wow. Oh, but I'm not done yet, because there's a lot of Mario Kart games out there, and I'm only going to play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I decided to pick Rainbow Road, seeing as there's a good chance we won't touch water in this one, and guess what? I was right. And I'm still not done yet. There's a lot of Mario Party games out there too, and I'm only going to play Mario Party Superstars. The fastest way to avoid water is to go to Mount Minigames, select this particular minigame, and then just play it. Well, that's about it, at least for now. I might be back to avoid touching lava or sand or something like that. I don't know yet. Bye, thanks for watching, and all that stuff. Yeah, that, that's all I got. See ya.